All right, boys and girls, today we're gonna to make a treasure map. You're going to get a sample treasure map. Your map should not look like this one. It should be somewhat different. Perhaps you have a different, different shape or different things in the background and different placement of things, but it is gonna look like a scroll, meaning the ends are going to be rolled. You're going to get a step-by-step -step how to draw said scroll. And you are going to get a, on the back of that sheet is a bunch of examples of things that you can put on your map. Now, normally, uh, we've been using these regular fine point Sharpies, which are great. I love these, these are my tried and true. Today we're gonna use um, a fine point or ultra fine they call it. So be very careful with the point. They do dry out. These are not meant for coloring anything in. As a matter of fact, you're not gonna color anything. The only purpose of this is for backgrounds. Originally, I did it using the regular uh, Sharpie and that did not do what I wanted it to do. It looked kind of, it, it didn't look good. The lines were too thick. Sometimes you might want thick lines and sometimes you don't. I will put both out so you can choose what you want. So let's start by drawing the scroll. And I'm gonna use the fine marker because I can always make it thicker. So I'm gonna start with one, two, one, and two. You can always extend the lines if you have to. So that's how you start it. You are then going to make the top and you can put little rips in your paper, however you want. And then on the bottom, you're gonna come around. You're going from the outside of the, the farthest to the outside of the other farthest. And when you come around, it's better if it's not perfectly straight. Right, so that goes there. That's the start. Now we're going to add the top piece, which goes from like here. And again, you're gonna put little rips in like that. And you're going to also put a curved piece in that comes around here. So same thing here, it goes from here to the end. This is the part that gets tricky. So you're gonna have a straight line coming down here. And then you're going to do this so that it comes around and ends up over here same thing's going to happen. It's going to come in and go there. So it looks like it's folding, you're making this look, you're making a scroll. And in fact, this is, this is my first, uh, but you're trying to make it look like the paper is folded, just so you know, like that, like a treasure map. And you can see that the thick was too, the other stuff was too thick. All right, so this is the map. And it's ready to put your um, design on. So what you probably want to put on is some land. And you can make your island however you want. Think about how your island wants to be. Perhaps there's a code, perhaps not. So there's my island. And then you can add with this nice thin uh, marker. You can make all kinds of designs on your map. So I'm going to make my compass. With north. South, east, west, if you want to add some lines there, you can do that, make it interesting. And, and west goes off the line. If you put your intermediate lines, northwest, northeast, southeast, west, you probably want to add some kind of, maybe there's mountains over here. You can add some lines to show shadow, make some texture. You could have castles. You could add whatever you want. Um, perhaps there's a sea monster. And then you can put scales on your sea monster. It's your sea monster, make it how you want. You can even put a fin at the tail. I don't know. Your monster. Make your monster the way you want. You can add ships. You could add, be careful how much you add, you only have too much, so much space. Perhaps there's a ship out here, a boat. Oh, I made a mistake, it happens. Maybe instead of a boat, I'm making another sea monster. There we go, just you know. The world doesn't have much those. I wanted to make a boat. I want to make a monster. You can put a name. You can do a real fancy scroll if you want for the name, or you can just put a name up here. Try 
treasure map. I don't know if you want to name it. That's your your thing to do. So maybe there's a forest down here. I don't know. Maybe there's an X. Maybe this is where you're supposed to put the ship. There's a ship down there, that's where you're supposed to anchor. Um, you can add lines. Remember, you can add lines for all kinds of things. Now, you may decide you want to go back with the thicker marker and maybe outline the island, though I really like it better with the thinner marker. marker. You know, I admit it. It's your call. Don't push too hard, because what ends up happening is the um, point gets pushed in. But I think it actually comes out better with the thinner marker. And you can go back and you can add some line texture. They did that over here. So feel free. You put the you could name your ocean. Maybe this is the sea of sadness. This could be treasure island. And just have fun with it and use lines to create your treasure map. I can't see, wait to see your work. 